G'day and welcome to a tutorial on my sensor-guided planetary missile. Today I'll be putting myself in your shoes to print it up, show you how to use it, how to set it up and everything in between. There's lots to talk about and there are two modes for this missile, the first being the one you downloaded from the workshop or mod.io and the other one I'll show you how to set up easily in this tutorial, so make sure you stick around to the end. While you're there, make sure you check out any other tutorial on my drones that I have in this playlist set up in the top right now. All right, once you've got her all built up, let's just bring my missile printer storage over here. Let me know if you want this blueprint in the actual workshop itself, with or without all the blueprints uploaded to it already as it will make it a larger file. But off camera, I've made a GPS just over there, 100 meters above the surface on the way to the target itself, about four or five kilometers away. Bring that over, we'll get this to shoot that nice and easy, we'll bring it over and let's just pull that piston to clear the rest of that printer setup. Let's get into one of these very quickly and I need to name it so it will specify which one is which as I need to add that GPS to the remote block as I've done so for the rest of these that I did off camera. Let's get into it. Let's get to the remote and let's rename it number four as well as the add to remote. Let's go into the remote control of this specific missile, which is why it's in white. Let's add the missile north GPS. Let's add the action of the fourth add to remote timer and let's start it. That's all you really need to do for this to work. But as I said, I'm going to show you two different modes and I'm going to disconnect this one, which is why I've got this little pad here so we know exactly which one is which. So what I need to do first is I need to change the sensor front to trigger earlier at 900 meters, so 100 meters more than normal for the fact that it's going to be a cluster missile. From there, I need to change the timers, if I can see them all, all of these ones right here. As they are trigger, I need to change them into the start function. So make sure they're all in the start as we want them to release all these payloads after a second, not all at once like the default. Once that's all done, that's all you really need to do and you can launch them straight up. So I'm gonna launch this cluster missile first, just like so. So it's gonna launch up for seven seconds with that height aim timer. Change that as you wish, but make sure that the GPS it needs to go to is higher than where the rocket launches up to like so. The collision avoidance is also not on, so make sure that they don't run into each other by giving them just a little bit of bubble. Just a bit of a personal bubble. Launch that one just there. Here we go, and then I'll catch up to that first one ASAP. So I'll launch that. We'll come up over here, and these all have a gyro to cancel out the turn of the planet. So the curvature of the Earth. So as you see, it got to the missile north, it overrid these two thrusters at the back to get to maximum speed as fast as possible. It also has these two sensors on the, on the front of it to guide it where it needs to go. So those are the actual guidance sensors itself. And then this sensor right here is the one that actually targets the enemy and tells the missile to release its payloads. So as you see, it just turned to be more accurate and it's got that extra thruster on the side to stop its lateral velocity. Here we go. So always make sure you release one rocket beforehand. That's not too bad. If you enjoy my designs as much as I do, make sure you hit that like and maybe subscribe to see more of stuff like this. Till next time, stay sharp, see ya!